Hey guys, let's start with the Euro US dollar. The signal is still long. We broke this steep trend line, made a rebound, broke this uptrend line just shortly, made it back above, confirmed it, made a first impulse up, and now, I mean, I don't know if the market will, will do us the favor of dropping to this downtrend line. That would be the first confirmation of it. That would be a very nice opportunity to go long again. But with um, every day going by, it becomes more, it becomes less uh, probable. Yeah, that's it for the euro dollar and the dollar index, more or less the same. The steep uptrend line is a bit closer. That would be a possible um, bounce point for, for, for rebound down. If you are looking for an entry, the bond market, uh, the signal is still long, and formation-wise, this could become a shoulder head shoulder for those who believe in formations. We see the strength compared to the German ten-year. FTBS bond future. We, we even made a lower low today. I would have liked to see it a bit lower, but we didn't make it. And obviously, now we made a first impulse up. So that could have been it. And now, when you consider the fundamental situation even the German oh, what, how do you say that uh, economic virtues minister um, economic minister <laughs> asked for um, rate cuts because the situation is so dire um, yeah you know the last couple of days the German bond future showed weakness but that can turn around when you remember the 2010 years, 2000, let's say 2012 until 22, um, during that uh, rate cut season, uh, the wind future always showed strength. So this weakness that we saw during the last couple of days can easily turn around, especially considering the dire economic situation in a fundamental view. Yeah, um, oh yeah, and today we could take a look at the stock market. Let's start with a longer term, maybe even a year. Yeah, the stock, the, the signal is the short and during the last couple of days I got a, a numerous new signals short but you see the strengths to the upside and, but in a bigger picture you see this um, beautiful concave con convex structure in the Nasdaq and during these um, tops the, the Nasdaq was always the first to top for example here and um, the Dow often lagged a bit behind here again 
the Nasdaq was the first to turn down here as well um, here again 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 and now it's the same situation the Nasdaq shows some weakness yeah we hardly made it above this high whereas here in the S&P future and Dow future we made it easily above these last highs um, yeah now when you count this as a as a ABC as a four we made a new high in all these indexes this could have been a top but this the following structure looks rather corrective and so maybe this wasn't a five but just a one of a five um, so when you look at the S&P 500 future here it was the four was either truncated or this was already the four and then if this was the one this would have been a nice pullback with no overlap and here in the Dow Jones if this was a first um, one to the downside if we wanted to count this ready you know if this was um, the four and this was the five and this was the first move to the downside we could count this as an one two one two three four five and we just slightly had an overlap but right now we are below this looked rather dynamic but could be a four starting here like a like a like a flat structure yeah but i have not been able to <laughs> build a functioning um trading system based on elliott waves so this is just drawing pictures for me the only thing i can say for the stock market is that i have uh, signals short and but that doesn't mean that we have to turn around immediately. Yes, yeah, so much for the day. Have a nice day. And this is just my personal trading diary, no trading advice.